What the fuck is up, YouTube? Ah, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, fuck Valentine's Day. I'll be doing a couple of streams. I'll do one now, go to bed, wake up in a couple hours and do another one. Because that's how I roll. We got some Jack Daniels and some Monster from the stream that I poured earlier. Cheers. A happy single awareness, you crazy assholes. It's Valentine's Day. Ugh, fuck Valentine's Day. You know what? Being single on Valentine's Day is more depressing, but admittedly, it's less pressure. So in some way, shape, or form, I feel sorry for people who have to, who have a, a significant other on this atrocious holiday. I mean, if you got the money to please your girlfriend, your wife, whatever, cool. But Valentine's Day is all about chicks and whose cunt can squirt the farthest. <laughs> Let's be realistic about it. Valentine's Day is a cunt squirting contest for women on whose boyfriend's got the biggest dick and the most money. But I'm the asshole for saying it. <laughs> You know, your man goes out of his way to cook you at breakfast in bed, spends the whole day pampering you, because that's what women want on Valentine's Day. They want to be pampered. They want to feel like sexy goddesses. They want to feel like they're loved and appreciated. Fuck what anyone else thinks. That's just the truth. So like Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, if, if you're if you got a mom on Valentine's Day and you're still living at home, show her that you care and you know, you and your dad get up and make her breakfast in bed. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who says Valentine's Day isn't about the women, they're full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Just look at the colors of Valentine's Day. Pink and red. <laughs> Enough said. Pink like her pussy and red like her lipstick. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, and that's just it, ladies. If you have a man on Valentine's Day that actually tries and shows he cares and appreciates you, then you should be grateful because there are a lot of chicks who wish they could have what you have. Love is like a fart. If you force it, you end up with a lot of shit. And it stinks. But I didn't have room to put, and it stinks. But it's kind of automatically assumed. Anyways, if you'd like to get your girlfriend a funny... Teddy bear on Valentine's Day. I'll pop the link, baby. Yes. Ah. I went and hung out with a friend for a little bit, and then I came back. I got a ride, mind you, because it's cold outside. We also got the female empowerment shirts. It says female empowerment. Praise the female goddess. 
Sexy, strong, confident, empowered. Yep. Another awesome idea for your girlfriend for V-Days, if she's a King Cobra JFS fan, booyah. You know, smart is subject to the person, not the gender, because there are some dumb motherfuckers out there. That's why I didn't put smart on the back. Because women and men can be stupid. Subject, smarts are subject to how smart you are, and you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, if your mother's a feminist, that's cool, man. As long as she's not one of those fourth wave feminazi cunts, then <laughs> cool. Because fourth wave feminism, modern day feminism has destroyed the movement entirely. You know, Women back in the day didn't have as many rights, so they fought for it. They got gender equality, at least in a Western society. Women have more rights. Unless you live in the Middle East, and then women are treated like dogs over there. Instead of fighting for gender equality, for female equality all over the world, modern feminism has decided... Let's be a complete sexist, hypocritical cunt to the fucking assholes who have oppressed us for years. See how they like it. <laughs> Jeez. Like, let's fight systematic oppression with more systematic oppression. And a slow clap for humanity. But honestly, I fucking hate Valentine's Day. I mean, admittedly, it's a lot better when you have someone to spoil and spend it with. But even then, dude, there's way too much pressure to get your girlfriend the perfect gift. And it's like, well, you know what your woman likes. So it, if you know what your woman likes, then it shouldn't be that hard to please her. Hopefully by now, you cool cobras have gotten yourself some tactical soap. Links in the description box below. Using that affiliate link and coupon code KINGCOBRA, you'll get 15% off. Using that affiliate link helps me make a couple bucks. And using that coupon code helps you save a couple bucks. So that works. Uh. Uh. Mm. Now, am I going to drink this whole thing on stream? Probably not. I want to save some for when I wake up in a couple hours because uh, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. And I wanted to make a quick video when I got home. And then when I wake up, it'll be like, hey. Album drop yet. Not yet. No, but I'll be working on the album tomorrow, <sighs> for sure. I gotta add some dueling guitar to the solo, and then I gotta add a beat, and then we'll move on to the next song. No need to take shots, I got a mixed drink right here, and we are mixing. A favorite drink combo, we got some Jack Daniels and some Monster Green Energy. Not a sponsor.
How many songs so far? Good question, Parker Jackson, for Love and Vanity. Zero. I'm working on the first song, and it's taken me a couple days. But that guitar solo, I'm glad I redid it because it sounds much cooler, in my opinion. Now, nobody would blame me for hating Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, I haven't had a girlfriend in three years. It gets depressing. It gets lonely. But you didn't tune in to hear me bitch about that. No. You know, that's just it. I'm trying not to bitch about it. But it's hard. And I feel like women in the same respect would do the same thing. If women haven't found someone in three years... They bitch about it, too. And that's the thing of it. I kind of feel like women are allowed to bitch about their dry spells, and men aren't. If I'm the asshole for saying that, I don't care. It's the truth. That's always a cliche, isn't it? Some lonely woman bitching on Facebook or Twitter because she can't find the right man. It's so cliche. Yet, I feel like talking about it helps in some way, shape, or form. That's why people do what they do. Uh, I'm going to grab some water to go with my menagerie of hard liquor and energy drink. Oof. In fact, this one drink right here is enough for the stream because I don't need to get too sloshed. Gotta save the majority of this for when I wake up tomorrow or later on today. So here's the thing of it. If you're lonely and you're single, it's okay to bitch about it. Just don't let it consume your life, dude. Like, I feel like that men, we're not allowed to bitch about our dry spell. We get called an incel or a simp if we bitch about our dry spell. And it's it's kind of unfair, but what do you do? There's a lot of unfair shit that women have to go through as well. Ice cold water. Oh, that is good. That is something I never take for granted. Having access to clean drinking water. There are places in the United States and places all over the world that don't have access to clean drinking water. So while, you know what, if you want to bitch about your dry spell, like I said, go for it. You know, sometimes bitching about a situation helps you realize some things and, you know, it makes you feel better. You ever notice that when you bitch and moan and groan, you feel a little bit better afterwards? Well, there you go. Ugh. 
Uh, I'm gonna grab a glass of cold water. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll love my new apartment. Well, it's okay to bitch about your dry spell every now and then. Just remember, it could be worse, and, you know, don't let it consume you. Mm. Uh. So... I'm not gonna lie, I might sleep in because tomorrow is Sunday or today is Sunday, I should say, but I'll get up and get moving when I do. You know, I'm straight for of age pussy. I want to be semi-sexual and just admire chicks and say fuck sex and fuck dating. But I know I'm full of shit because I know as soon as the, the right goth chick pops into my life, it's going to be awesome. You know, that's all it's going to take is some smoking hot goth chick with black hair and green eyes and gorgeous pale skin, big old cobra tattoo on her arm, walking up to me and going, are you King Cobra JFS? Why, yes, I am. Why? I'm a fan of your videos. Can I have your autograph or can I take a picture? And that's all it's going to take. <laughs> can I buy you a drink? Oh. I might do some vocal covers in my next stream. We'll see how I'm feeling. <clears throat> mm. So, being as it's Valentine's Day, if Bed Bath & Beyond is open and you got some of that moolah, Go into Bed Bath & Beyond, get a pink bath bomb, go to a flower shop and get a shit ton of res red rose petals. Now when you're in Bed Bath & Beyond and you get your girlfriend a, a pink bath bomb, you get some CBD bath oils, some massage oils, etc. Go to the liquor store and get some pink champagne. You know what I'm saying? You go to the Cheesecake Factory and you get some strawberry chocolate cheesecake. Hoo, <laughs> jeez. Now, when your girlfriend is out and about doing her thing, she comes back. There's a trail of red rose petals leading to the bathroom. And when she walks in there, there's a hot bath waiting for her with essential oils, massage oils, CBD oils, etc. The water's nice and pink. You got a couple of red rose petals sprinkled on top of the pink bath bomb water, you know. You got incense and candles, dim light, soft music. Now, when your girlfriend gets in the bathtub, you know... You pop in with that cheesecake and be like, would my sexy goddess be like some cheesecake? Yeah. 
you know, and, um, you know, pamper her a bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're the one feeding her, like, a little, like, a little bit of spoonful of a cheesecake or whatever, even though she's perfectly capable of eating the cheesecake herself, having her awesome boyfriend feed it to her while she gets into this amazing bath that you prepared for her, trust me, your girlfriend's going to appreciate it. Oh, jeez. I feel like, guys, we're pretty easy to please on Valentine's Day. You give us some good sex and a beer, we're happy, right? But women, on the other hand, are a lot more complicated for Valentine's Day. Now, back in the day when Valentine's Day first started, it was started by some asshole in the Hallmark card industry. So back in the day, if you got your girlfriend a card and the flowers and some chocolates and a stuffed teddy bear, most of them were pretty content with that. But these days, it feels like women expect more. That could be a stereotype. But... Hopefully you've been paying attention to your girlfriend's subtle hints. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> there are only a couple days you go all out for your girlfriend. One, her birthday. Two, y'all's anniversary. Christmas and Valentine's Day. Those are like the four. Her birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and the anniversary. Those are the four times you want to go all out for your girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard it so many times now that I'm pretty much desensitized to it, but people are going to sit there and say, oh, my God, Cobra needs to get laid. Cobra needs some pussy. And it's just like you, you learn to ignore shit like that after a while. Sex is not a need. It's a want. And quite frankly, I get so sick and tired of society putting all this pressure on people to date. You know what I'm saying? You're taking something that's relatively normal for most adults and putting way too much pressure into it. But in the last freaking video, I did a response to Terrence Pop said he might be a creep if he has one of those realistic fuck dolls, not the ones you buy as a gag gift, but the silicone ones. And I'm like, okay, so men are a creep when we buy realistic fuck dolls, but when women buy a sex doll with a bionic penis that never gets tired, never goes soft, and never gives her any bullshit, and never comes all over her hair and makeup. <laughs> They're not creepy for that. Oh, no. The only reason why we have that double standard is because women are the gatekeepers of sex. And, um, yeah. Can you turn on the light? Yeah, give me a second. And the biggest argument women will make against 
these silicone sex dolls is they set an unrealistic body type and how are we supposed to compete with that? And trust me, ladies, it's no competition. The real thing is so much better. Are you so insecure with your body as a female that a realistic sex doll triggers you? I mean, if a man was up in your business about what the fuck you were stuffing your pussy with, you'd be offended, you'd be upset, you'd be like, it's none of your business. Yet somehow... <laughs> Sorry to hear you're getting sick. But I'm not here to bitch about that. Like, you do you, man. If I haven't found a girlfriend by the time I'm 31, 32, 33, 34, that kind of thing. No, seriously, if I haven't found a girlfriend by the time I'm 34, if I haven't found a girlfriend by the time I'm 34, I would consider getting a fuck doll, to be honest. Not that disgusting short one that the trolls sent. Ugh. But one that's like five foot eight, you know, closer to my height, adult sized, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. No, I'll be I'll be turning 30 next month. You know Sex dolls are not as good as a real woman because you can't spoil your girlfriend rotten like that. Like if you call the sex doll your girlfriend, how are you supposed to spoil her rotten? Because beyond the sex, honestly, it's a bit satisfying when you see your girlfriend's face light up. Like beyond the sex, when you're doing stuff to make your girlfriend happy because her laughter and her smile just lights up your whole world. <clears throat> No, I don't got to poop right now, but thank you for your concern. <clears throat> but the reason why a lot of guys look into getting a sex doll is because they've spent thousands of dollars trying to please women, and for whatever reason, it just doesn't happen. So after a couple of years of spending X amount of money trying to get Y and Z, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
they think to themselves, you know what? It's a lot easier and it's less pressure. They get something to cuddle with that won't get pregnant. You won't catch STIs unless you're sharing it. You know, and you won't get judged for your penis size. Which that's what makes me laugh. Women will make women will make jokes about our dick sizes, about how tiny they are. <laughs> But the second you joke about how tiny her boobs are, you're an asshole. Fuck your double standards. Women and men are made to feel equally as self-conscious about their bodies, yet it's never seen as an insult when women do it to men kind of thing. Burr, it's cold. Like 10 degrees outside. <clears throat> Is that blood? No. I was scratching my face earlier because I had an itch and I scratched way too hard. It'll heal up. You're right about that. Both genders have privilege. Both genders are victimized. Both genders are oppressed. Both genders are depressed. Love and vanity. You got that damn right. <clears throat> Ew nice bullet, Cobra. <laughs> And like I said, the hair does not make the man. It's the decisions you make in life. I'm a badass who tells it like it is. I'm not afraid to be called a sexist or whatever. Sometimes the truth makes us feel uncomfortable. That's why we avoid talking about it. Yet, if we lie, we're the assholes. Sunday, February 14th, 149. <laughs> now, if you're alone on Valentine's Day like I am, don't worry about it. Honestly, feel sorry for the assholes who have way too much pressure on their hands. Really, because Valentine's Day, like I said, is a cunt squirting contest between women on whose boyfriend's got more money and whose boyfriend's got the biggest dick. That's all it is. Such salty language, Cobra. <laughs> Here we go. Hello? Hello? Must have been a wrong number. Yeah, I'm not going to be answering the phone right now while I'm doing streams. I do have mad respect for women. Even if they treat me like shit and they don't want to date me, that's their loss. I'll jack off to chatterbait the rest of my life. Like, I don't want to sit here and fight with women about dating me. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about it. At the end of the fucking day, if no woman wants to date me, then I'll save up for the gothic sex doll that I want and then be done with it. You know what I'm saying? That's much better, that's much better in my opinion, than holding a grudge against the opposite sex. Fuck that shit. 
And you know what? Women call each other cunts all the time, but they get pissed off when men use the word. So I'm like, hypocrisy much? Mm. Jack Daniels, old number seven, and some green monster. <sighs> That's strong shit, dude. <sighs> it's a little chilly outside because it's 10 degrees. But I'm making do. Why not pay for a hooker? Good question, Jesse Ryan. Uh, one, prostitution is super illegal. And two, you can risk getting her pregnant or catching STIs. That's honestly two things that scare me off from the real thing is accidentally getting a woman pregnant or catching STIs. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of thing that scares me away from sex. That and the drama, to be honest. Oof. Like, wouldn't it be nice to have a dating scene that didn't have double standards? Gender relations were awesome. Women and men understand each other and they support each other. Now, the idea that if you support women's rights as a man, you're just white knighting and you're just simp and blah, 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 blah. Or if you're a woman and you support men's rights, you're weak. I hate that shit. Man, all of a sudden I'm cold all of a sudden. What the fuck? Now, I grew up in a household where my stepmom taught women's history, so trust and belief, you know, I was raised right. <clears throat> Burr. Uh, I might do a Grand Theft Auto 5 stream on my computer. Um... Uh, I gotta unplug the internet and then plug the internet cable into the back of my internet box, turn the TV towards the, or the computer towards the TV, and I can go on GTA 5 online, show off my character, show off some of the cars that I got, and maybe, just maybe, we might get to play some Clock Tower of Terror, which is a badass little... Death match that I created. Sounds dank. Yeah, Clock Tower of Terror. It's been a while since I played it, but uh, it's a fun little deathmatch that I created. I mean, Grand Theft Auto has gotten so advanced as far as the whole game goes. Like, I remember when I was a kid, the first Grand Theft Auto I had was the PlayStation 1 version, Grand Theft Auto 3. It had the aerial view, and you could burp and fart in people, and they call you a piece of shit for doing it. You know what I'm saying? That takes me back. <laughs> uh. 
who's my favorite character in Grand Theft Auto Five? Trevor Phillips, hands down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some of the shit, dude. <laughs> But here's something else to think about. I've seen Model T's, the actual car. You can get a Model T to work on for the same price you would spend on a realistic sex doll. You could get a like a 1920s Model T to work on, you know, and you could give yourself a car to drive. <clears throat> I've always liked Model T's ever since I was a kid. I've ridden in a Model T. They're fun to drive, to drive in. The Model T I took a ride in was a 1915 Model T Brass Era um, convertible where you could fold the top down. Gorgeous car. If I could afford it, I'd get me a Model T and I'd hook up a CD player and speakers to it, but keep the original engine and put a battery in the trunk for the CD player to run off of. So that way I could be jamming to some Ozzy Osbourne or some Cradle of Filth while I'm pulling up at the stoplight in my Model T like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'd be sick. <sighs> now, if I won the lottery and had enough money to build my dream house, I'd get a car. I build me a Model T C cab rat rod hearse. It would be sick. Hmm. Well, holy crap, it's almost two o'clock in the morning, and I got this many people tuning in to watch my video. I appreciate that. Now, normally on Sunday, I'd ask, like, Darth Lenny to come over and hang out, but I reckon he's got plans with the missus, so if he wants to come over before he does whatever he's doing with his wife, that's cool. I'm down to hang out with my homies, but if not, I totally understand, dude, believe me. <clears throat> I cast a spell on Darth Lenny for him to find a house that he can afford for him and his wife and his kids. So mote it be in the witch's circle. Now when I get my album done, I actually want to get Darth Lenny a birthday present. When I get my album done, I have a sword that I want to buy him for his birthday. Shh, <laughs> don't tell. Uh, Michael Baldwin's a good dude. Got nothing bad to say about him, man. He's he's good people. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. This is a drink combo I don't do too often just because of how extremely unhealthy it is. M mixing monster green energy with old number seven. <sighs> Dude, liquid liver failure. Now, this is just my personal recommendation, but if you and your girlfriend are using lube during sex, it's Valentine's Day. I would highly recommend KY Mine Plus Hers. You got a pink for her side and a blue for your side. Yeah. I've used that stuff before, and it's Fucking awesome. <sighs> And I'm being serious. When I was younger, I thought I would never get my first girlfriend. And... You know, my first girlfriend happened when it happened, and honestly, I regret cheating on Stephanie. You know, that was really shit on my part. I've learned to forgive myself for it, which that took ages. That took me years to be able to come to terms with it and be like, you had a good woman at your side, and you fucked it up. I'm not trying to get back with her, just acknowledging it for what it is. I haven't cheated since then. I never have and never will, but that doesn't mean I have, you know what I'm saying? You can't change the past. You can't. You have to be able to accept the consequences and just, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Uh, but the cool thing about me and Stephanie was me and Stephanie were each other's first boyfriend, girlfriend kind of thing. And um, it had its cutesy factor going about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had fun with Stephanie Peterson, and I regret cheating on her, to be honest. I let the confidence of getting laid go to my head. And that's one of the few things that I regret doing in life, to be honest. <sighs> but you can't change the past. All you can do is work on the present so your future is better. So my advice to you, even though it makes me extremely hypocritical, don't cheat. A lot of guys don't realize what they have until they've lost it. And maybe instead of telling me, Cobra, you need to get laid, maybe you should focus on your own love life. Okay, the fact that people are more obsessed with my sex life than I am. 
And half the time it's because they care and they want to see me be happy with a girl of my own. And I appreciate that. But the other half is just because they're being super creepy and weird. You know? And what up, Parker Jackson? I bet you could get Stephanie back, to be honest. Eh. Hard to say, man. Hard to say. Uh, I'm not trying to get her back if we could establish a friendship, at least. And we tried, you know. I friended her on Facebook, and she accepted it. But then her, I guess she deleted her account. Um, it is what it is. Hmm. But happy Valentine's Day, you crazy bastards. Um, dude, if you're single on Valentine's Day, pamper yourself. You know? Or at least you forgiving yourself for it. Yeah, Parker Jackson, it took me several years to forgive myself for it. You know, I'd have my string of women that I've had in the past, and it'd always be in the back of my mind. And because me and Stephanie's relationship lasted for two years, I don't mind going through a dry spell that lasts three to four years because that's karma, dude. That is straight up karma. You know what I'm saying? Live and let learn. Exactly. <sighs> Galentine's Day, that's fucking funny. Ha ha ha. Yes. Now, Valentine's Day is strictly designed to make people feel like shit because you don't have someone and it becomes a for a lack of a better word, pussy squirting contest for women on whose boyfriend's got the bigger dick and more money. And you know how demasculating it is for men when your girlfriend comes home and starts b bitching because her best frenemy's boyfriend has more money? I mean, like, I understand that women are the gatekeepers of sex, and I respect that. However, would it kill women to be a bit more appreciative if they have a decent man in their life, even if he's not the richest or the best looking, if he at least tries and shows that he takes initiative and cares? There are some women out there who are single right now who wish that they had the man you have. So be grateful. Dude, you're not even the real Bernie Sanders. Get banned. That is so typical of my trolls. They're like, oh, King Cobra JFS is a Bernie Sanders fan. Uh, let's impersonate it. Let's impersonate Bernie Sa Sanders in the chat. Oh. Mm. But I have a successful wand business. Oof, this is my newest wand I've made. And I love it. The handle's green. It's got black leather with a green handle. A green glowing orb on the bottom of it. 
the wand's black with a green tip. Like, I've gotten really good at making these wands, and I love making them. I need to get started on a new batch of wands, but it's been too cold to go outside. So, yeah. What's that orb made of? Honestly, I don't know. Like, I had a fan send me a bunch of these orbs at my old place. And, um, yeah. You want a wand for real? Yeah, a lot of people... I didn't realize how in demand my wands were going to be. Otherwise, I would have started making wands a long time ago for Etsy. Mm. A chi ball. Nah. I'll try to make one. Hmm. Sometimes, on a very rare occasion, sometimes I'm just not able to do it. Oh, there we go. I saw a green one right there up here. Sweet. Might be too cold in the Casper tonight. No, being the temperature has nothing to do with your Tai Chi. Admittedly, you know, if you're freezing or cold or if you're distracted by other things, you can, you know, your Tai Chi can be restricted if your mind's not fully into it. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with the temperature outside. Copes, what kind of magic can put an end to a dry spell? Do you think any of your Warlock fans could help? Uh, love magic, yes, love magic does exist, but it's very complicated. You can't just, this is my fundamental theory on love magic and casting spells to find your significant other half that's good for you. You can't just summon it into your life. You know, you have to help other people with their relationships. Well, I was a ball of depression earlier when I got off the last stream, but honestly, I got over it. Like, if you cast spells for your single friends to find someone before you find someone for yourself, that's what I'm saying.
Because here's the thing of magic, with actual legit magic, whatever you cast comes back upon you tenfold. With that rule being in place, if you cast spells for your friends and family to have a healthy relationship with their other half, or you help your single friends find someone before you find someone for yourself, you build up good karma points. And eventually all that magic that you've been casting, putting out there, the energy you put out there to help someone else find someone, eventually it comes back upon you and you find someone who's really good for you. Hmm. <clears throat> I quit giving a fuck about what my hair looks like on top, to be honest. It's just hair. If I win the lottery, I'll get some hair plugs for my widow's peak and for this disaster right here. But outside of that, I don't care anymore, dude. It's just hair. There's a lot of badass motherfuckers that are bald. My dad, Vin Diesel, The Rock, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, if I won the lottery, yes, I would build me a sick hot rod. I'd build my dad a sick hot rod. I'd build my dream house. I'd get some hair plugs. I'd start my own toy company. I have an idea for a toy that's non-sexual, mind you. But I have an idea for a toy that would be really fun to play with. I just don't have the money to make it. You should shave your head again. That looked pretty badass. Eh, I don't like having short hair, to be honest. I like having my Ozzy Osbourne hair. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, show them knuckles, baby. <coughs> well, this is new. I would love to know what the toy is i think it's a good idea for a toy that people young and old would enjoy playing with however i don't want to share it on camera because someone might steal my idea It's a wand, isn't it? Well, you'll have to wait and see when I build it and when I patent it and then when I make it and you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> That's funny, Jesse Ryan. <laughs> Nope. Nope. I'm not sharing the idea with anyone on YouTube. I don't want anyone stealing. I had the idea to make tampons and pads that dispense THC and CBD and that are made out of hemp cotton. So when women get the cramps downstairs, the THC and the tampons and pads relieves those cramps and makes for a smoother, easier period. I had that idea, I shared it on YouTube, and then some dickhead came up with it and stole my idea. So I'm like, no. Nope. I mean, if you're in Colorado and uh, you got the monthly visitor and you got a feminine product made out of hemp cotton, super absorbent and super durable. You know what I'm saying?
How much do you need to get the ball rolling? Honestly, I have no idea as far as the whole the toy thing goes. <sighs> Is it an indoor toy or an outdoor toy? Good question. Shout out to the official Goatsy podcast. Um, it could be used indoors and outdoors. And that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> That's gross. Um, honestly, the toy I would make that I want to make would be for all ages, young and old. You know, it'd be one of those toys that you could spend hours playing with, and you know. <laughs> yeah, you guys have no idea the toy I would create. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how well it would sell, but it'd be fun to play with. Yes. <clears throat> That's disgusting. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne action figures with Kung Fu grip. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. That would be a cool toy, but that's not the one on, that I would invent. Is it a digital toy or a regular toy? Is it a Chia pet? It would be a regular toy, and no, it's not a Chia Pet. I don't know. I like the idea of the toy that I have, and I'm not sharing it with YouTube because I don't want no one to steal my ideas. I got a, look, I got a lot of good ideas in my head that I could make a reality if I had the money. <clears throat> It holds your tobacco pipe. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, no. Although when I was a kid, I loved playing with bubble pipes growing up in the 90s. You know, the ones I'm talking about with the uh, orange stem and the green bowl. <laughs> oh. Watching Roger off 101 Dalmatians, the original Disney movie, smoking a pipe. It's just, I don't know. I've always been fascinated by pipe smoking, and I'm like, yes. And I bought my first tobacco pipe at Walgreens. It was a little Dr. Grabo, Grand Duke, with a smooth billiard bowl. 
one day it fell out of my pocket. I never, re- and then I, I couldn't find it. I was like, oh. Yeah, they have a lot of products like that. Candy cigarettes, gum cigars, licorice pipes, jerky chew, you know, all all that good stuff. Which these days you couldn't get away with advertising because it uh, glorifies tobacco in a way. Which I get why they don't sell that kind of stuff anymore. You'd have to go to like an old time candy shop to see it. Although to be fair, there's a gas station here in town that sells candy cigarettes. Those little, you know, they look like little chalk sticks. And you suck on them and they dissolve in your mouth. Imagine smoking in 2021. Yeah, imagine that. (sighs) Imagine that. Cobes do a flip. No, I can't do a flip just standing up. I'd have to have like a trampoline or some shit. And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't think that's going to be happening. Like, I don't, like, I'm trying to slow down on the cigarettes a little bit. I'm not going to quit completely. But, uh, okay, that right there just got you banned. When I rant about stuff like that, I'm ranting about the dating scene. Okay, when I rant about the dating scene, it's not specifically one gender or the other. It's the whole goddamn situation. Smoking kills? Yes, it do, and it tastes so good. All that comment someone made, rant about women again. It's like, I'm not ranting about anyone specifically, okay? This is just, when I rant about women, it's it's just my perspective from a man's perspective. It doesn't mean anything outside of that. Women do this crap all the time, dude. They rant about men from their perspective, And they're allowed to without being criticized. But if I do it, it gets taken as you're a sexist, you're just attacking women, you're an incel, blah, 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 blah. I'm sick of it. Happy Valentine's Day, bro. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Well, if you don't have a Taco John's where you're at, that sucks. Because uh, I like Taco John's. I'm a, it's a Wyoming staple. Mm, excuse me. Exactly. Complaining like a woman, he says. Sexism will get you banned from my channel. Complaining like a woman? 
dude, fuck off. Okay. People should be allowed to complain and bitch and moan. You know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, talking about your situation helps rather than just sitting there with it balled up inside of you. Damn skippy about that. Thank you for saying that, uh, Yofa. Appreciate that. At this point, like, I know what good qualities I have that women look for in the dating scene. So if women don't want to date me, that's honestly their loss. <laughs> right? Jesse Ryan says, that person needs to go back and watch some gender relation rants. Yeah, no shit. I don't know, because they're jealous. Cobra, why do the trolls not want to see you kick ass in life? Because they think that just because I have Asperger's, I'm supposed to suffer every day, that I'm not allowed to achieve and succeed and excel at life. Because to them, it's like, wait a minute. They struggle a lot worse than I do to excel at life. And when they see someone with Asperger's who excels at life better than they do, instead of getting inspired and being like, hey, you know what? That gives me motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. They get jealous. And it's pathetic, to be honest. Marlboro Special Blend Red 100s. You have Asperger's? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not exactly secretive about it, am I? I'm partial to camels. I like camels and marlboros. I'm not that picky when it comes to cigarettes. <sighs> what are some things you want to achieve in 2021, Cobes? I want to build my dream house. I want to win the lottery. I want to work on my temper so I'm not so quick to lose my shit over the, over the littlest of things. Do you ever, have you ever tried Gold Coast chips? Gold Coast chips. No, I haven't. Anyways, it's been an hour-long stream. I do appreciate you all tuning in to the channel and watching. Happy Valentine's Day. I'll get up when I get up and make another video. Anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Subscribe for more.